Hey, how are you guys doing? I want to show you guys a unique part of town, uh, the British part, most British part of uh, Montreal. So we're on Dr. Pensfield and Red Pat. So the building here are like British influence and uh, I really uh, like the, the shape of them. And uh, around here, this neighborhood, what you find are uh, science part of Montreal, uh, university, campus, uh, hospitals, uh, faculty of law, some embassies as well. So we are uphill. So as you can see, like all the stuff are the way they are shaped, everything is uphill. So I like it. Uh, those buildings are have that unique old fashion look uh, I, I really really like that it, it looks clean it's different here so and I find that uh, this is the most <laughs> British influence part of uh, Montreal you know there are other places but this one you know uh, you can see the way the buildings are shaped and I could continue going uphill you know and uh, you are wondering or hi or for am I look <laughs> so we are uphill <laughs> this is uh, yeah this is for real I like it it's quiet up here uh, most of the buildings here are uh, you know uh, not so much houses it's like uh, science lab and stuff like that you know uh, it's an old neighborhood they took care well of it because you can see the the houses they look uh, different <laughs> with that green look on the roof and that uh, layer of brick that looks <laughs> different you know like red or that some more brownish or it's like they lost their color so <laughs> yeah uh, I will go through the Miguel University campus some of it because it's you know when you have university you have campus like all over the place and some of them uh, Stretch, uh, stretch it out to like kilometers away from the university itself so as you guys can see uh, <laughs> look at those buildings man they're just amazing you guys see that this is beautiful <laughs> British style baby did you guys see that that's an old bi uh, British building the one in the back you can see it the bricks are overdue the roof is discolored you know but of course something of uh, major like that it's probably the government who's gonna take care of it it's just too big to it doesn't seem much going on in there either you know you guys can see it maybe we can catch it uh, on the other side but there are so many of them like this one here so you know look down there you have some more <laughs> and uh, the British <laughs> or the old-fashioned used to be that kind of like green roof that looks uh, different you know yeah you can see it was well made the, the brick looks uh, strong still it's a bit dirty some of the you know uh, some of the bricks are discolored because of the material that the roof is made of uh, that kind of like leaked on the the bricks and so you have like some green looking bricks uh, discolored so yeah some other fascinating buildings they are big <laughs> Yeah, and when you have building 
big, this big, then you need the oil furnace to keep them warm. Otherwise, forget it. No way, no how. It's just too big. The bricks itself kind of like wants to keep them cold or cool. So a regular pe uh, person wouldn't be able to maintain that. It's just too much money. And that building there, the shape of it, it's like a cylinder. <laughs> it's, it's really nice, you know. Yes, we can continue going uphill, but uh, I'm not saying it's pointless, but uh, I believe that there's enough interesting buildings. That looks like an embassy. We are seeing, uh, let me see. We're seeing the uh, blue flag with uh, stars in it. That would be like Australia. But next to it, that looks like the Italian flag. You know, like uh, green and uh, red something. So, uh, I could cross to see exactly, but it looks like an embassy, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Do you guys see the shape of it? It's nice. It's it's British and also French influence because both are in Europe. Look guys, you know, that blue flag with the yellow stars, that's Australia, right? Is it? I like to think so. And that's Italy. So I'm not getting it, but yeah, that could be a, an embassy there but I really like the, the shape uh, the design of this house the way it's made and you can see it's federal or it's federal uh, building because look it's well maintained it's been it's well taken care of so uh, you can't go wrong Okay, so that's the Italian uh, Instituto, Instituto Italiano di Cultura. Instituto, yes, I think I got it. Instituto Italiano di Cultura. So that would mean uh, Italian uh, <laughs> culture office or consulate something yeah cultural uh, con yeah <laughs> so that's the con yeah consulate of Italy of Italy yeah <laughs> all right that's cool yay uh, and across toward biological science yeah so you see guys around here that's that's the kind of buildings that you're gonna find a lot of our hospitals or researcher uh, research labs you know I really like that one across it's some of them are like uh, those castle that you see in ferry you know it's yeah you know it's it's nice look it's beautiful Kensler the old faculty of law you know it's it's beautiful Wow, the chimney, it's well maintained. Yeah, and you can see the chimney, maybe they have been using it because it's dark, you know? Yeah, that's fascinating. The way that building looks, uh, uh, I can see it's under uh, some, it's under renovation. You can see there are renovation and process. Yeah. Ah. I like it. That's like really nice. We can see it from far, the roof, you know, the architecture of it. <laughs> you know, it's, that's beautiful, guys. Yeah, it's, it's really beautiful. Yeah, the balcony is, you see, I'm not an expert, but when you have uh, this many roof and stuff like that, 
prepared to pay a lot of money to fix that roof when the time comes. So it's, you know, look, you guys see there's, uh, there are different buildings uh, with amazing uh, architecture. And guys, it's difficult to maintain uh, things looking old. You know, it's not done easy to maintain the authenticity of the building, the integrity of the building, the way it was designed to represent what the architect wanted to represent it. It's going to cost you to keep the integrity of the, the building looking like this. So because of that even some of the bricks doesn't look nice the fact that the building is whole that's uh, amazing and look at the brick upstairs you know yeah uh, this that is a beauty but to keep the integrity of it uh, probably because of the pandemic everything uh, the government doesn't throw money on that one yet because that's not an emergency it's just like the looks but the brick is still strong you know there's no like danger of nothing collapsing you have cross some crosses and uh, yeah that's beautiful yeah the more details that you have and a building the more difficult it's going to be to take care of it and and you know look british style it's beautiful look you can even go further up up here <laughs> look another one <laughs> wow that's cool look <laughs> there's another one i think that one too is under uh, renovation you can see there's uh I don't want to go up here, but I'm just gonna give you guys a quick, a quick uh, close-up. Yeah. So as you know, nobody's really living there. It's for science purposes. Students, you know. Yeah. So yeah, that one too is under renovations, and probably those things there are like the license telling you that. Uh, not to go and whatever's going on with it <sighs> all right <sighs> it's beautiful and i'm gonna go back down you see there's more but that alone the roof is different easier to fix <sighs> if the window leaks i mean just to maintain that guys would be like out of this world okay so let's go down wow if i wanted to <laughs> look <laughs> there's no end to the mountains i can actually go up and up and up <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right i love that the, the the color of it the mustard looking you know the mustard looks of it i i just love it you know the the red uh, well it is a bit uh, discolored but uh, you know so let's go on the other side see what's up guys down here is um, Miguel University or campus I should say and um, yeah, there are some renovation under process here, some major one, you see, down there. So, uh, oh, look, guys, oops, look, guys, there's a nice building up here, but uh, we're not going to go see because there are some nice other one down there as well, like that one there. It's like uh, Cinderella Castle. It's beautiful. Wow. So let's get a closer look at cinderella castle 
it's not uh, uh, it looks like a church but I am not sure uh, that's actually you know one of the building on campus it belongs to Miguel uh, University campus yeah that's exactly what it is it's designed like a church or a castle but that's not a church it's beautiful it's well built I like the architecture of it look there's other ones just like that one so if we're looking this way like this you see yeah I really like uh, I'm very fond fond of this architecture it's nice look at that one wow it's like in a dream almost and there are like benches where you can sit and relax so I'm gonna go down and try to get a different look a different shot of the those buildings look I think it's fun you know that castle look you know yeah it's it's beautiful look. yeah it's really beautiful and uh, Miguel University campus is this way so let's let's go look that's the other side of the building Wow that's not weird but it's as if like building of the past or we're all shaped like a church kind of things you know look one a gargoyle yeah yeah red pad hall yeah, and it's under renovation. Oh, okay, well, I think uh, those things on the door, like warning, telling you uh, what are the procedures if you've been outside of the country and things like that. And many things are in shutdown now because of that. Yeah. Look at the craftsmanship. Wow. See that? Wow. Okay. Yeah, so this is Miguel University. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> you see that uh, tree with those red stuff? The, the green, the like different colors make this place very uh, colorful the contrast uh, <laughs> the way they pave this with brick layers of different colors it's just beautiful so that's a museum oh, okay red pad museum i am interested uh, well let's go see Yeah, there are some major renovation ongoing here. So what is this thing saying? Or can you help? What is a pollinator? Oh, okay, that's a bee. A pollinator. didn't know about the museum here uh, you guys can see those are all fossil Gi a giant fossil ammonite shell there was something this big <laughs> it's from England yay <laughs> you guys see that 
So that thing was alive, guys. It must have been terrible. Ooh. What about this one here? Okay. What is this one saying? Interesting. There was a museum here, guys. Didn't know. Cavity line with quartz crystal inside. It's beautiful, magnificent. Okay. So, uh, carbonite, follow night, light. Okay, so these are real stuff. Okay, so uh, yeah, with their name. This were picked up from prehistoric. And what is this prehistoric one? Was this one underwater? It looks like something. In the 19th centuries, all right. So, uh, you guys already know. The big question is, is the museum open? And would they let me, how much you have to pay? Look, look at the view, guys. Isn't this beautiful? Wow, and the sun is coming out, finally. Yeah, so, hold on. Yeah, the museum is not open, guys. I thought it was open. And, um, yeah. They don't know when they're gonna reopen. They wanna make sure that everyone's safe, everything's okay before they reopen. All right. So, okay. We got it. The museum belongs to Miguel University, so that's why they are not in a hurry or in a rush to reopen, especially uh, for the past 12 months, things been like open, close, open, close, open, close, so it's pointless. You know, the amount of energy and uh, things needed to reopen and then close, it's pointless. Yeah, so that's still the university. Uh, uh, okay, so let's just go up and then down. Yeah, so this is Miguel University, and uh, you guys can see uh, you have like different views of the university, different campus, Red Pot Hall, you know. Everything looks like a church, but there is no church here, it's just the shape of the building that looks like a church. I love the trees. I find it funny and uh, appealing the way the trees look, you know, I find it very artistic, yeah. It's very quiet, you know, uh, because of the pandemic. You're not gonna see many students here. It's pointless and uh, of course, when you're at that level, many things can be done at home with your computer, you know? Except for doctors, but uh, most of uh, studying can be done online. You know, so yeah, so the people would uh, go in there and some of the classes would be like in there, and some other classes would be at a uh, different location. Yeah, so yeah. That's the art building, yeah, you see, yeah, so 
so like I was saying, they have different campus. The medicine faculty are like further up here and the art, the art faculty is down here. Well, we're still up here, but you know, and of course, that's Mm. Yeah, they leave you accepted. Uh, it's mostly like telling you what are the procedure and uh, how and why. So everything is on a hold up now. There's not much going on. Look at the back of, the, of this place. It's just beautiful, guys. Wow. Yeah, this is beautiful. You see, you have more faculty down there. So let's see which administration. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, that's the administration down here. Yeah. Everything is authentic, old, and uh, you know, eventually that one too. Well, if it's fenced like this, I'm guessing that one too, uh, there um, required some, uh, some renovations or under uh, process. Yeah, and since this place here, it's the art, uh, the campus, so yeah, you would find stuff like that. That's a piece of steel that they, somebody cut and made it uh, created something adventurous, I guess. It looks interesting, intriguing. Yeah. Okay. Administration and uh, up here. It's just a ferry. Or, yeah. Okay. That's the delivery zone. So let's go back out. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting it's it's getting a bit warmer, bit by bit. So that's that's cool. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That's another uh, building of something. You know, different or oh, engineering building. Okay. You can see, yeah, the McDonald Engineering Building. So that building there, it's for engineer. So I'm gonna take a picture of the, yeah. I'm wondering what that thing in the middle, that looks like, a, you know, those old um, comfort room out in the country. You know, some places in the United States, you would have that kind of stuff, you know, uh, in the South, mostly. I don't even think you will find out in North Carolina. I doubt it. 
yeah it's really really in the south let me take a picture yeah. so there you have it guys i have shown you uh, miguel university uh, and it's many campuses different buildings ah that's chemistry that's the building yeah mcdonald chemistry yeah so that's the building of chemistry yeah it's all very nice though yeah it's impressive the way everything looks here you know so so there you have it guys uh, some of the buildings are under renovation so to make a long story short that's Miguel University yeah you know thank you so much for watching guys I hope the visit was worth it thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe guys <laughs>